Did Anne Boleyn continue to speak after she, you know, lost her head? After that final blow, her head was held up and there were reports about her lips moving, which led people to conclude that she was still conscious and trying to speak. Throughout different points in history, losing your head was seen as a quick, easy, painless, perhaps even humane way to pass away. But there's been a lot of historical and modern scientific and philosophical debate about whether or not this is true, specifically about consciousness and when your perception of your surroundings is lost. A few hundred years after Anne's and Catherine's time, there was a German physician Samuel Thomas von Summering, who argued that was not the most rapid and least painful way to die. His arguments were specifically directed at the guillotine. Now, Summering was disturbed by this method of capital punishment because he believed that people were still sensible after losing their heads. And some of his conclusions are based on experiments with fresh heads, so to speak, where the exposed spinal cord would be irritated and this would then produce grimaces and other facial expressions. So Summering took this as confirmation that the self was still sensible and alive and conscious. In addition to Summering, there were a lot of other physicians, scientists, and commentators who were concerned about the status of the guillotine as a humane form of capital punishment. Some of these debates, reference was made to Charlotte Corday, and Charlotte Corday was the woman who actually killed Jean-Paul Marat, who was a French revolutionary. After she lost her head, her head was held up and her cheeks were slapped. People noticed that her cheeks started to go red and that she was developing an angry expression. People then assigned meaning to this. They thought that this meant that she felt guilt or shame over her actions or that she felt insulted by having her cheeks slapped. And they took this to mean that she was still conscious. Now this question of consciousness after losing one's head is still being hotly debated. It seems like the consensus is that consciousness is lost about two to three seconds after that final act. If we go back to this idea of Anne Boleyn's lips moving, well, it wasn't necessarily a conscious act. It was more likely that they were reflexive contractions rather than something will on Anne's part. I don't think she was consciously trying to speak, but it is possible that she retained some level of consciousness over a few seconds after she lost her head because of the remaining oxygen in her brain. Follow for the next episode of The Tudors, but History of Medicine edition.